Hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, as you can see from the title, is a pregnancy announcement video. Because we are having a baby. <laughs> we? <laughs> Me, you? Well, I didn't get into this predicament on my own. <laughs> sure. But not nah, yeah, we are. You just sound very enthused. Yeah, we are! <laughs> 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 what you want me to do? But yes, we are pregnant. I found out yesterday. Stop saying that. No, no. I don't care when you found out. Stop saying that we are. Don't say well, you I and I got pregnant. you. Yeah, ain't no we. I don't have nothing in my stomach or nothing. But we are twin of the same flesh. One person. Oh, man. You going to feel these pains. No, I'm not, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, no. I found out yesterday. I took the test. I'm going to show you guys the footage at the end of the video of when we found out. And if everything is going according to how it's supposed to be going, I should be somewhere around six weeks. And I know most people wouldn't decide to announce it that early, but you guys have been on this journey with us for a long time. And we just decided that, like, we're going to take you guys along the full journey. Mm -hmm. If it ends in success... All praises. If not, it is what it we is. We took you guys with us. Mm -hmm. Like we let you guys see the whole process because of all of these pregnancies that I've had, even the first one, we never documented not even one. And this could be a recipe for disaster. It yeah. really could. We could be setting ourselves up for a huge disappointment here. But it's life, and we've accepted it because clearly we're in this situation again. <laughs> again, same year. Yeah, same year. So last year I found out on December 26th. This year I found out on December 16th. Clearly, some, some, some be in the water in the December month. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> you just keep, keep your comments. Yeah. <laughs> G-rated. <laughs> yeah, you know. But yeah, so that's where we've been. I've been having quite a few symptoms. Um, last week... And a little bit before that, I was nauseous and my head was hurting and things like that. And then this week, I decided to just go ahead and take a test because, like, my breasts were, like, so sore. I couldn't even, like, lay down comfortably. And I'm like, okay, it's time. Mm -hmm. It's time. He didn't have, you didn't have to convince me this time. No. He usually has to convince me to take the test. This time, I was like, I'm going to go just get one. Willing, yeah. And I took two of them, and they both came back almost instantly positive. So, here we are. He had it again. Yet again. But yeah, we're excited though. Are For you excited? Sure. Yeah. I'm but excited. you know how I am. You know, it's just a bittersweet thing. Always. You know, because you know how we, we've been together for 15 years. Yeah. And to only have one child in 15 years and, you know, it's not. Nah, Countless know. pregnancies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but so it's just like, you know, I, I, I need the end result. I don't want to get happy. Too to, excited. Right. I don't yeah. want to, you know. <laughs> That's how I am too. Like I'm not gonna allow myself to get too excited, but then it's like I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer and like shoot it down from the beginning, you know? No, that's true. You you want to keep that good spiritual energy. Exactly. Um, like I said, um, you know, like I always say, I, I'm always thankful for the Most High for allowing us um, to you know even get this far. Like mm -hmm. you know, Yahweh, you know how He work. He He work on His own time, His yeah. own ways, and things like that. So to be a part of it, it's yeah. always thank. It's always yeah. you know grateful, and I'm always thankful. Yeah, uh, we're blessed just for the opp opportunity. And we know, like, odds are, like, with my health situation and everything like that, like, we know that there's a, a chance of complications. And we know that, you know, if I do go almost full term, that I, I will end up delivering early. That's just the reality of it. Like, we have faced the reality and we know the risk. But, like Babe said, we're still thankful. We're still appreciative. And we're still going to take you guys along with us. So, I have my first appointment in about two weeks. You guys know they do not get you in quickly. I've already looked in everything at the scheduling and all of that. I'm going to be going back to the same doctor that I did last time. Well, what do you think? Do you think I should go back to that same doctor? Or is that too far? I don't know. Don't they do all that ultrasound stuff and that radiation? Well, yeah. I, for my initial appointment, I have to have an ultrasound so they can see where it implanted at. To know if it's even viable. No, oh, you just gotta. Yeah, that's about it after that. Yeah, after that, it. My goal and my intentions are to hire a midwife and to do a home birth. I know it's very early to you know, you know say that. No, it's not that. too far. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, <laughs> to say that, but that are that is my intentions. If we do end up, you know, 
prolonging and furthering in this whole pregnancy i want to get a midwife and have a home water birth i don't want to like go in for routine scheduled checkups and glucose testing and all that i've done my research for years on those things and we just don't that's not the route that we want to go but my first initial appointment i do need to get an ultrasound to see where it is implanted at and make sure it's not on the septum and things like that mm -hmm. and if you have watched the videos in the past then you know what we're talking about if not then i will have a pregnancy update video over on my other channel the feminine wife life that's where i'm going to put all like my updates and you know just what are those things called like when you go by the week and you like give them the update on what's going on what the doctor said and stuff like that um yeah. Pregnancy updates? It's just updates. So. <laughs> All of those videos are going to be over there. We're not going to bombard you guys with that content, but we are going to keep you guys up to date and we are going to vlog that first appointment and we'll take you guys along with us on that as well. So, anything else you would like to say, baby? No, I'm going to say. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I'm super nervous, y'all. Like on the inside, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it's just that, oh my God. <sighs> it's, oh my gosh. But, I'm not going to walk in fear. No, no. You know what I'm saying? I always keep faith. Yeah, we're always going to keep the faith. And yeah, Most just keep time. us in you guys' prayers. Shoot up a prayer for us. It would be helpful, you know. And I'm going to cut to the footage of when we first found out. And we will see you guys in the next video. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. Okay, y'all. So... I just went out to the dollar store and bought a pregnancy test because I've been having a lot of pregnancy symptoms and it was just obviously the wise thing to do. When you have pregnancy symptoms, you take a pregnancy test. And I took the first one and it's positive. So I'm getting ready to take the second one and see if that one's gonna be positive too. And just like last time, I did not have to wait any time at all. Like the test wasn't even done fully processing yet and there were already two lines there so i'm going to take the second one now and i'm going to show you guys that so you guys can see like how fast or maybe it's just like a faulty test or something but we'll see Yeah, it just comes up instantly. Like, I don't even have to wait on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it's already, it's already positive. Uh, it's already positive. Okay, so as y'all can see, the second one is positive two. <laughs> How do you feel, babe? Oh, you know I me. Mean? I'm always excited, but it's always it's a bittersweet thing because yeah. you know all the lapses and um, things we have with the discrepancies. But it's always good. I'm always thankful for you know Yahweh uh, for giving us the opportunity and chance to have you know children and add on to our little kingdom. Yeah, that's how I feel too. It's like all oh, praises to the mighty God just for the. You know, the opportunity, some people don't even get the chance, nor the opportunity. Am I nervous? Yes, I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. But I know, you know, it's all in the most highest hands. We've been here before so many times. And, like, it's always hard for me because I don't want the excitement to outweigh the risks. You know, you don't want to get ahead of yourself because I've done that before. Like, I've gotten super excited and allowed myself to be in the moment. And, uh, yeah, I ended up devastated. So I don't want to, you know, I don't know. It's really hard to explain. If you haven't been there, then you wouldn't understand. But, obviously, you know, I'm super excited. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> you guys are along for the ride yet again. I mean, I didn't really take y'all along for the ride last time because I just told you guys after everything happened. But this time, I'm going to take you guys along, like, I'm not going to be one of those people to like wait till 12 weeks to tell everybody, you know, I'm going to 
be open and transparent about it and you know whatever is in the most high's will is gonna happen and you guys will get to see everything so yeah <laughs> that's where we are right now we haven't posted up a video in what it's been about a week or two right yeah it's been a minute we've been super busy i didn't when do you think i first started feeling symptoms Two days? When I was nauseous and stuff? Oh, no. That was like a week ago. Uh, yeah, I would definitely say about a week. About a week ago, it was... Yeah. Yeah. Your headache. Yeah. yeah. About a week and a half ago, I had a super bad headache. I was nauseous and everything. And it didn't really cross my mind then, but um, like my husband just said, two days ago, I had... Um, my breasts were super tender, like... To the point where like I couldn't even lay down and rest in peace like they were that sore and I'm like okay it's time I've been having like some cramps in my stomach and stuff like that and I had that all throughout my first trimester with Ramon so that's pretty normal um I should be if I'm calculating correctly from my last cycle somewhere around uh six weeks so not too far along just at the very beginning so maybe even five weeks maybe not even six but yeah <laughs> that's where we are y'all um if you like this video please like comment and subscribe you know as always shoot up a prayer for us because we need them <laughs> we need them and uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next video bye y'all